Hi everyone, I am Madam Rosmaya. In this video, we are going to discuss on face relationship in alternate current circuit. The alternate current circuit that we are going to discuss today consists of only resistor, inductor, or capacitor. The phase relationship between uh, current and voltage will be explained one by one using calculation so that you will know the reason why there is a phase difference between voltage and current. Okay, first alternate current through a resistor. Observe this circuit consists of only resistance. So the voltmeter across the resistance resistor here measures a V equals to V naught sine omega T because this is alternate current. So the graph is a sine graph for V against T and V naught is a peak voltage. Angular frequency omega equals to 2 pi F and F is a frequency and period T equals to 1 per F. Okay, next we are going to sketch the graph for I against T. From V equals to IR, I is equals to V per R. Substitute V equals to V naught sine omega T into the equation. So we have V naught sine omega T per R. V naught per R is I naught. So from the equation I equals to I naught sine omega T, so the graph also uh, is a the graph uh, I against T also is a graph is a sine graph. And compare the two graphs V against T and I against T. So both is in the same shape. So we can say that I and V are in phase. So they start uh, at the origin. And we can say that their phase difference equals to zero. Okay, we've done alternate current through a resistor. So we get I and V are in phase. Okay, next we are going to discuss alternate current through an inductor. Okay, observe these circuits only consists of inductor L. So the V is V naught sine omega T because it's AC, still AC current. And the graph is a sine graph for V against T graph. Okay, next we are going to sketch the I against T graph. We use uh, the relationship V supply equals to the back EMF. So the V supply is V naught sine omega T and the back EMF is negative L di by dt. And di by dt equals to V naught sine omega T per L. So we, we bring L to the left side. We get V naught sine omega T per L. Then we separate the variables I and T left and right. And we can take the integral both sides. V0 and L is constant, so we can bring to the front, leaving the integral of sine omega t with respect to t. So nothing here means 1. So the integration of 1 with respect to i is i. And V0 per L is constant, so the integration of sine omega t with respect to t we get cos omega t per omega. Don't forget negative. Okay, we use integration rule. So we get negative cos omega t per omega. And V naught uh, L omega is equals to I naught. So we get I equals to negative I naught cos omega t. And using sine, we get I equals to I naught sine omega t minus pi per 2. Because cos omega t is equals to sine omega t minus pi per 2. So this is mathematics rule. And the graph is a cosine graph. Because this is a cos omega t. But because of negative, the shape eh, is like this. Where it starts from the negative uh, I naught. So their phase difference is pi per 2. Ok, 
Okay, compare the face here. V is omega t, whereas the I is omega t minus pi per 2. So, their face difference is pi per 2. And because of negative, so that means V leading I. So, V at the origin uh, at time 0. And here, the I is negative at the negative I node. So, that is why V leading I. Okay, we've done uh, AC through an inductor. So, we get V leads I by pi per 2 radians. Okay, next, alternate current through a capacitor. So, refer to the circuit here. Consists only capacitor. And the voltage uh, across the capacitor is V0 sine omega t. So, this is the graph. Sine graph. And to determine the... I against T sketch, uh, we use I equals to DQ by DT and substitute Q equals to CV into the equation here. C is constant, so we can bring to the front and substitute V equals to V naught into the equation. So we have I, C, V naught because V naught also is a constant, so we can bring to the front. So the derivation of sine omega T, we get Omega cos omega t. So, using uh, deriv derivation rules, so we get omega cos omega t. And uh, omega c v naught is equals to i naught. And cos omega t is equals to sine omega t plus pi per 2. So, the shape of the graph will be cosine graph. So, the amplitude of the graph is i naught. So, it start uh, at the positive uh, I note here. So, this is the shape of the I against T. So, they are face different, both also pi per 2. Then, compare the face here, omega T for V, another one for I, the face is omega T plus pi per 2. So, the difference is pi per 2. And this means I leading V because plus. So, we can see V at the origin and I at the positive uh, I node. So, that's why I leading V. So, done. Uh, AC through a capacitor, we get I leads V by pi per 2 radians. If we plot voltage and current on the same graph, in a circuit which only involve uh, resistors, the current and voltage are in phase with each other, which means that the peak voltage is reached at the same instant as peak current. Okay, shown by blinking dot here. And if we plot voltage again I for the AC through an inductor here. Okay, when inductors are involved in an AC circuit. Okay, so the current and where the voltage do not peak at the same time. So the fraction of a period uh, difference between the peaks expressed in degrees is said to be the phase difference. And from the calculation just now, we get pi per 2 radians. So the difference uh, is pi per 2 in radians. So, voltage leads current since inductors oppose change in current. Changing current induces a back EMF, which is equal to negative L di by dt. Okay, next, for AC through a capacitor, from the V and I against T on the same graph, okay, we can see that the current and voltage also do not peak at the same time, and the fraction of a period difference between the peak Express degrees is said to be phase difference, which we get pi per 2 radian from the calculation in the previous slide. Okay, the difference is pi per 2 radian. And the graph starts with voltage across the capacitor at a maximum. The current is zero at this point because the capacitor is fully charged and holds the flow of current.
And instead of saying V leads I by pi per 2 radians, we can also say I lacks V by pi per 2 radians. Okay, same as here, AC through a capacitor. Instead of saying I leads V by pi per 2 radians, we can also say V lacks I by pi per 2 radians. Okay, how to memorize uh, this concept? Okay, we can memorize using the word civil. C-I-V-I-L. So, C represent capacitor, followed by letter I and V. So, that means I leads V for capacitor in a, a circuit, alternate current circuit. And then, followed by V-I-L. So, I represent inductor. So, V leads I. V comes first from the letter I. So, that means V leads I. So, this is the easiest way to memorize um, the phase relationship uh, between the uh, current and voltage in an alternate current circuit. Okay, that's, for, that's all for the video. Thank you for listening. The end.